Hey everyone, and welcome back to the second lesson of Tana Fundamentals. In this video, I'm going to show you that in Tana, everything is a node. I'm going to show you how you can use different nodes throughout the app, but the main thing I want you to take away from Tana as kind of a mental framework is that everything in Tana is a node. So what does that mean exactly? So you remember that in the last lesson, we looked at the preferences here in the upper right, right? So show sidebar, show completed items, and I showed you how to enable the dark mode or the light mode, um, use system theme worn when editing reference nodes. Now check this out. If I go to the root node of my workspace, right? So in the left sidebar, I click on Cortex Futura, or in your case, your name. And I go to Settings and Preferences. Look what we have here. We have Show Sidebar, Show Completed Items, Enable Dark Mode, Use System Theme, One When Editing Reference Nodes, right? So everything that is exposed through the Preferences menu is actually a node under the settings node under the root node of the workspace, right? And the same goes for the calendar, right? So here the calendar consists of a node that is indented for the year, that is that has child nodes indented for the weeks. And these child nodes that are weeks have child nodes that are dates. For example, today, Saturday, September 24th. Everything is a node that kind of flows from the root node of your workspace. Now, what can you do with these nodes? Tana exposes a couple of different ways that are probably familiar to you if you use tools like Roam or Logseq. And one of them is that you can reuse nodes in different places. For example, let's say I started reading a book yesterday about how Amazon operates, right? So on yesterday's date, I might create a node for working backwards, which is the title of a book about Amazon's operations, highly recommended if you're interested in productivity. So let's say under it, I have a quote that I've taken from the book yesterday. Today, I'm reading that book. Again, I didn't finish yesterday. So I could create another working backwards node, but that would mean I don't have a link between what I wrote yesterday and what I'm writing today. Instead, I can pull in a reference to that node. I can embed it in today's node from its original place yesterday. I do this by typing at. That gives me a pull down menu where I can now autocomplete search for working backwards. I type enter and this creates a reference to the original node living on yesterday's daily node. You can always recognize reference nodes by their dotted outline around the bullet point. And so if I expand this, I have here the quote that I entered yesterday. Importantly, these nodes are the same nodes, right? This is not copy paste. This is, I see the original right here. And to demonstrate this, let me make the airspace and cyber conference, which sounds cool, bold, right? And if I go to the previous day and expand this, now it's bold here as well, right? If I make it italic here, I see on today's daily note, it's now bold and italic, right? So this is how Tana embeds references nodes from wherever in your graph to where you are working um, right now. But you might not always want to have a full reference to the, to the thing. I might want to say, I'm still reading, working backwards and link to it instead of embed it, right? So how does that work? To link to the node, I just start typing, I am reading, and again, I type at and do autocomplete search. 
working backwards, right? And now I get a link. And if I click that link, it takes me to the original node, right, which lives um, on the node for yesterday and has indented under here. It's the quote that I copied in. What's really cool is that if I uh, shift click, so I hold shift and type it then, it gets expanded in place, right? So here again, I see the original just below the node I'm working on right now. And I can expand it, I can collapse it, and it's gone. But I shift click and it's there and I can see the original content. Now, I might want to create nodes just while I'm in the flow, right? So I'm reading Working Backwards, um, which is about how Amazon operates. Amazon operates, right? So how do I make a node for Amazon so that I can link from different places to Amazon as a concept, if you will? Again, I type at and type Amazon. And there is no node for Amazon yet. So Tana prompts me with create Amazon. I click this or type command enter. And now I have a new node. As you saw in the pop up here, the green one, it says new node added to the library. What's the library? If I click here, the Amazon node is placed under a node called library. As you saw here, like there's on the daily node page, there's no Amazon node that is standalone Amazon, right? So Tana needs a place to put that node and it puts it to into the library node. Where does library node live? You guessed it under the root node, right? So Cortex Futura library this has all the nodes that I've created while just typing sentences and wanting to create nodes for certain words. And you can also move things to the library. So let's say I want working backwards, not on yesterday's page, but I want to put it kind of next to Amazon into the library node. I type command K and I use the command prompt and I type move to. And this lets me move to the home node. So that would then make it appear here in, in the sidebar. I can move it to today's node or I can move it to uh, the library. So let's do this. And it leaves a reference in place, right? So here, this has now turned into a dotted outline around the title working backwards. And if I click it, you see here, it now lives in the library. Amazon working backwards now both live in the library. That sounds kind of funny. <laughs> um, cool. So I'm reading working backwards, which is about how Amazon operates. Now, what's very interesting is that if I click working backwards, you see here down here, I have references. So we have a reference from today, Saturday. I'm reading working backwards, right? This is a back link and a reference in yesterday's page. Now, the concept of backlinks is familiar to you if you use Roma, Logseq or, or similar tools. If it isn't uh, familiar to you, it's really powerful because it allows you to connect things in a kind of serendipitous way that you otherwise would not, right? So imagine you took your notes about working backwards in a Word document, right? And you write about uh, Amazon and operations and Jeff Bezos and what have you and how they do things. And then you take notes on Toyota and how they operate and their principles. And at some point while reading and writing your notes about Toyota, you say, oh, right, this is kind of like how Amazon does it. But unless you remember that when you're thinking about Amazon again, you have notes about Amazon in both the Toyota Word document and the Amazon Word document, there's no link between them. But in Tana, there is, right? So if I am here on the Working Backwards page, I have notes on where it was used yesterday and today. And I see Amazon was used in context with Working backwards. If I now go to the library and say um, Toyota and say 
is very different from at Amazon to link Toyota with Amazon and I focus in on the Amazon node, I see now here in the references that I've written that Toyota is connected to Amazon because it's very different, right? And these back references, these backlinks are incredibly powerful as you grow your workspace, right? It turns Tana from a linear outline in a way to a graph where things are interconnected and that's incredibly, incredibly powerful. Now, finally, I want to show you something um, about Tana's nodes that I find also very powerful, is that you can look at them in different views. So what does that mean? But I can also show them as a table, for example, right? So if I type command K view as table, it turns the node titles into the first column title, and then I have so far empty columns and we'll get to uh, filled columns uh, in, in the very next lesson of this tutorial series. And I can add columns um, and do all sorts of things with it. I can also switch to different views, right? So I can again, switch back to the list view. I can do also cards. So every company gets its own card or I can do columns, which right now doesn't do anything. We'll get to that in the future or I can even turn it into tabs, right? So companies, Toyota, Apple, Google, um, and I can even add new tabs for new companies. So apart from the different view options that I just showed you. What we've covered so far is basically table stakes for tools for thought, note-taking apps that kind of are graphs right now. Rome Research innovated the uh, linking and backlinking workflow that we saw with embedding, referencing, and these kinds of things. And so what I've shown you so far is, again, table stakes. What sets Tana apart is that you can record data about your nodes in a way that is extremely powerful and that as far as I'm aware and up to date on the industry, no other app does in quite the same way with quite the same capabilities. But that's what we're going to focus on in the next lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about recording data about nodes. So stay tuned, check out the next lesson in the series, and I'll see you in that next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.